Plus today I'm doing a comparison video between the old Ecto-1 and the new Ecto-1. First of all let's have a look at the old one in overall details. So first of all I will say that I love both of these cars. I love the detailing on this one like on top with this tube that runs around and it literally just gets tucked in there and poked in there. Quite unlike Lego's usual style to be honest. And then on top lots of detailing which looks really cool. Love the mix of colours and these transparent elements to portray the lights. On the front there's also some silver elements which look really really cool and very much give it the look of a, a front grille on a car. Lots of windows on the side and the right shape along the back here which means that the vehicle looks very accurate. I like the use of the dumbbell element for the wheel rims or trims or discs whatever they're called and then we've got a ladder down the side here which is again accurate to the movie version and overall the thing looks great it's a very unique shape for a lego vehicle and very accurate to the movie okay looking at the new one now so first of all there's a lot less blue and then this transparent yellow element on the top really does uh, i think is one of the key elements that sets it apart from the old one uh, the doors open on this one which they don't on the old one and there's a lot more red as well so the main color scheme on this is red and white it uses a different element to provide a wheel trim, rim or disc, whatever you call them, hubcap, that's probably their name, and then detailings like this on the front, and then the overall front of the uh, like the bonnet as well is different, whereas on the last, last one it's um, got two circular bits here. The lights look really cool on this as well, slightly different to how I've seen Lego lights built before, and this uses some silver elements as well. Flipping it around you've got a similar kind of ladder, on the back and the detailing on the top of this one is all held onto a, like a gate kind of thing which looks great and I actually think the top um, almost looks better than the original. Now let's have a look at them side by side. First of all I think both of them look absolutely fantastic. Uh, if we compare the detail on the top on both of them you'll see that they're both wildly different but both do look very highly detailed. I think they both look great and uh, very different so obviously as I've said a couple of times uh, this one is more red and this one is more blue, but they certainly look very iconic and representative of the films that they are from. I like the classic look version of this one, it looks very iconic and no one could ever change it, and I'd say I probably prefer the front of this one, it just looks a little bit more interesting than on the new one. But on the new one I love this trim down the side, this uh, extra detailing, and these are all printed tiles in fact. I just had to hold that up close to me to check because I couldn't remember putting the stickers on but yeah they are printed. Uh, this bit here is a sticker um, but yeah very cool elements and of course it's good that you can fit the Ghostbusters inside. Overall I really do love both of them and I'm glad that I've got both of them in my collection but which one is your favourite? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to Lego Burst for more videos.